Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the position of a straight line with respect to a circle. A straight line can be outside of the circle like how I have it in the diagram right here. Also a straight line can be tangent to the circle kind of like this. A straight line can also be a secant line kind of like this and a straight line can also be a normal to the circle meaning the straight line could go through the center of the circle kind of like this so if we are given the equation of a circle and the equation of a straight line how are we going to determine whether the straight line is outside of the circle or it is tangent to the circle or it is a secant line or it is a normal line that's exactly what we are going to discuss in this video Next what I am going to do, I am going to drop a perpendicular from the center of the circle onto the straight line. And for a moment I am going to remove the three other straight lines, I am just going to keep the one which is outside. Now if we think about the distance of the straight line from the center which is the CP, line segment CP. If this distance is greater than the radius of the circle then you can understand that the straight line is actually outside of the circle. Because as you can see in the diagram CQ will be equal to the radius of the circle and if CP is greater than the radius that means if CP is greater than CQ then obviously the straight line is outside of the circle. And then if CP is equal to CQ, I mean if CP is equal to the radius then obviously the straight line will be a tangent line. And if CP is less than the radius then it will be a secant line. And if CP is equal to 0 that means the distance is 0 that means the straight line goes through the center then obviously that becomes a normal line. So here I am making the notes when CP is greater than the radius the line is outside of the circle which is the current diagram right. Let's make a note about the next scenario when CP will be equal to the radius. In that case the line is actually going to be a tangent line for the circle and in that case the line is actually going to be like this the dotted line here. Let's talk about the next scenario when CP is less than the radius then the line is a secant line and the line is going to look like this. And the fourth scenario when CP is equal to 0 that means the line goes through the center. In that case the line is going to look like this and that will be called the normal line. A straight line going through the center of a circle is the normal line. So when CP is equal to 0 the straight line is actually going to be a normal line. It passes through the center of the circle. So if we are given the equation of the circle let's suppose the general equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. From there the center of the circle would be negative z comma negative f and now that we know the coordinates of the center from the equation of the circle and also we have been provided with the equation of the straight line let's say it is uppercase a times x plus uppercase b times y plus uppercase c equals 0. If that is the equation of the straight line and we know the coordinates of the center we can easily calculate the distance of the straight line from the center of the circle. The distance of the straight line from the center of the circle which is the CP distance can be written as absolute value of a times the x coordinate of the point which is the center in this case. So a times negative z plus b times the y coordinate of the point which is the center. So the y coordinate of the center is negative f. So b times negative f plus c which is the constant term in the equation of the straight line whole upon square root of a square plus b square. Here I am using the formula of the distance of a line from a point. I have already created a separate video on this topic. I have shared the link in the description. Feel free to watch that video. Now using this formula we should be able to calculate the CP distance and also from the equation of the circle we should be able to figure out the radius of the circle and we know the radius of the circle will be equal to square root of g squared plus f squared minus c and this c is actually lowercase c which is the constant term in the equation of the circle. So we are able to calculate the radius. We are able to figure out the value of g and f from the provided equation of the circle and also we have been provided with the equation of the straight line that means we know the value of uppercase a, b and c. So using all these values we should be able to calculate the radius and the cp distance and once we know those two values then we should be able to compare them. If cp is greater than r then we conclude that the line is actually outside of the circle. When cp is equal to r then we conclude that the line is a tangent line to the circle and when cp is less than r we conclude that the line is a secant line and when cp is equal to 0 then obviously the line is a normal line. Next I am going to take an example. 
Let's suppose we have an example like this where the equation of the circle has been provided as x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 10y minus 2 is equal to 0 and we have been provided with the equations of four straight lines. The first one is 2x minus 4y equals 24. The second one is 3x minus 4y equals 19. The third one is 2x minus 3y equals 1 and the fourth one is x minus 2y plus 7 equals 0. So we have been provided with the equations of four different straight lines and we have to see how those straight lines look like with respect to the circle whether the straight line is outside of the circle or it is a tangent line or it is a secant line or it is a normal line. And in the solution I am going to step through everything about the first straight line and following the same steps you should be able to evaluate the three other straight lines. Now from the equation of the circle 2gx is equal to negative 6x that means g will be equal to negative 3 and similarly f will be equal to negative 5. Next let's quickly calculate the radius of this circle. We know radius is equal to square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. In this case what is g? g is actually negative 3, f is actually negative 5 and c the constant term is actually negative 2 in the equation of the circle. So r will be equal to square root of negative 3 squared plus negative 5 squared minus negative 2 and that can be written as square root of 9 plus 25 plus 2 so that would be 36 square root of 36 which is nothing but 6. Here we are taking the positive value because we are talking about the radius of a circle. We should not consider the negative value. We should consider only the positive value. So the radius of the circle in the example is actually 6 unit. Now let's analyze the first straight line whose equation has been provided as 2x minus 4y equals 24. If we rewrite the equation we can write it as 2x minus 4y minus 24 equals 0 and from here we can say that the coefficient of x which is the uppercase a in our formula above so uppercase a is equal to positive 2 uppercase b which is the coefficient of the y term in the equation of the straight line that would be equal to negative 4 and the constant term will be equal to negative 24. What is negative g? Well negative g will be negative of negative 3 that will be positive 3 and similarly negative f will be equal to positive 5. Next we are going to calculate the CP distance. So the CP distance will be like this absolute value of a times negative g plus b times negative f plus c over square root of a squared plus b squared. Now let's plug in the values. So this can be written as absolute value of 2 times 3 plus negative 4 times positive 5 plus the constant term in the equation of the straight line is actually negative 24. So that is plus negative 24 over square root of a squared which is actually positive 2 squared plus b squared which is actually negative 4 squared and this can be written as absolute value of 6 minus 20 minus 24 over square root of 4 plus 16 and that is actually equal to absolute value of negative 38 over square root of 20 and this can be written as positive 38 over square root of 20 and if we plug in the values in the calculator this turns out to be 8.497. So the CP distance is equal to 8.497 unit and the radius is actually 6 units so clearly CP is greater than R. That means the CP distance is greater than the radius of the circle and that means this straight line, the straight line whose equation is 2x minus 4y equals 24, this straight line is actually outside of the circle. I hope you have been able to follow all the steps. So in the first example meaning the first straight line appears to be outside of the circle. It's not a tangent line, it's not a secant line, it's not a normal line, it's actually completely outside of the circle. It does not touch or cut the circle. Using the same steps you should be able to evaluate each of the other three straight lines. Just follow the exact same step and if you find that CP is equal to R then it will be a tangent line. If you find that CP is less than R then it will be a secant line and if you find that CP is equal to 0 then it will be a normal line. So I am going to leave those three examples for you to practice. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.